Hi, my name is Dan Russo. Allow me to tell you a tale about how I went to four concerts within a single week last November. First one on the list is the North Carolina punk band Jail Socks, touring off their first full-length album, Coming Down. I went with my radio pal, Juliet. Speaking of radio, I had to skip my radio show to go to this concert, and it was certainly worth it. I had my roommate, Zach, fill in and DJ my radio show for me, and the results were actually pretty good. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Point Punk, award-winning Point Punk here on WPPJ. Uh, my name is Daniel J. Russo, Daniel Jonathan Russo. Um, I'm going to be your host for the next hour, playing all of that good punk music that you know and love. Here's I'm going to tell my therapist on you, which is something that I've heard many times um, by Pinkship. While I don't have any footage of this concert, I did have an opportunity to speak with the singer for the band about the time I saw them a few years ago in a basement. Man, look at him go. I wouldn't dare step into a basement like that ever again. Up next was the long-running punk rock musician Jeff Rosenstock, and I went with a bunch of my pals. It's also worth noting that Jake started a days-long Twitter campaign to try to get him to play his old song that you hate. Welcome to day three of my social media campaign to get Jeff Rosenstock to play the that you hate upon the music industry song at his show in Pittsburgh. But to no avail. It was a pretty fun story arc regardless. We got personally rejected by the man himself on Twitter, as a matter of fact. We did get him to play Blast Damage Days, though, which was a song that hadn't appeared on the tour yet, and also is coincidentally my favorite Jeff Rosenstock song. We also got the set list, which is now framed in our apartment. The very next day was Pittsburgh's very own Light Up Night festivities with my lovely girlfriend Katie. Being out here made me wish I had gotten my booster shot a little bit early, but Katie, her roommate Lily, and I all luckily made it out healthy. And thank God we were healthy because otherwise we would have missed the free American Authors concert. The American Authors played this song twice. I think I'd rather be famous for nothing at all than for something like this. They also recorded this hilarious wedding message for their friend. Riley, we miss you. We wish we could be there, but we're here. And we also have to say one, two, three. That's a good way, Daddy! This video lives rent-free in my head. Last on my week of mayhem was a road trip to Columbus, Ohio to see the fantastic emo band Glass Beach. Jake and a bunch of our other pals all got an Airbnb and had fun all over Columbus. We went to two different Lego stores, ate Shake Shack, and overall just had a good time. Glass Beach was incredible, and I wish I could just show every video I have of them, but I also don't want to bore everybody. Here is an intermission from the show where one of the guitarists and their tour photographer opened up Pokemon cards on stage. We even stayed after the show to get a copy of the album signed and take this lovely picture with the band. It was a pretty unforgettable week, and I had a great time. Uh, thanks for watching. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20.